one of the hardest things for people to do is to create a marketing plan the idea of thinking ahead to what we should post or what we should talk about is very difficult for a lot of business owners to do especially loan officers and realtors who I'm typically talking to my name is Nick Carpenter I'm the founder of the Mortgage Authority Network and what I'm going to share with you today on this quick video is about a you know how you can invest 20 minutes up front into marketing and how that can actually create enough content on the backside that you can have enough information and content to float along your business marketing wise for 30 days what I'm going to do is just kind of run through the five steps that you need to do to break down this process and how you're going to get content like over 20 pieces of content out of 20 minutes of effort it's pretty amazing actually all right so let's just jump right in so what you're going to do is in step one you're going to make a video just like I'm making right now right so you can either use your Logitech webcam like I'm using you can uh, use your cell phone whatever it is that's easier for you of course if you're fancy you can go fancier right you can use uh, an expensive camera DSLR whatever that you want to do right so uh, me I like to keep it simple so I'm either going to use my phone or I'm going to use my webcam because it's super super easy this video that you're going to shoot you want it to be around 20 minutes total okay what I recommend is that you would create an outline and inside of your outline break it down into five main pieces okay then take each one of those five points and break that down into three to five points okay and you can continue to do that process until you get to the end right uh, or until you get enough content that's gonna keep you going for 20 minutes so you can look at your outline you can continue to talk through whatever it is that uh, your five points are gonna be about okay so what you're gonna do is shoot the video alright and just go through the the five steps and the five different pieces that you want to cover now at the end once you have the video and you upload it to YouTube YouTube actually has a tool called the YouTube video editor that's free that's on the back end of YouTube that will allow you to, to edit videos right so you can take your 20 minute video you can drag it inside the editor and you can chop that down into shorter videos based on each main point okay so if you've got five main points inside of your video what I would do is take the long video and chop that down into five short videos okay so now you're gonna have the long video on your on your channel that's not gonna go away when you start editing and then you're gonna also have have another five videos right so I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna write it on the board because I just wanna keep track of how many pieces of content this creates so that's gonna be six videos right there I probably know you can't can't read that but I'm gonna keep track of it okay so once you've got your six videos then what we can do is we can take that one long video and there's services out there that will actually transcribe videos for you okay obviously you could transcribe the video yourself it would just take forever and uh, that you probably have something like way better to do than um, to do that so what I recommend is finding a service that would do that for you they're all over the internet some of them even as cheap as five dollars and when you get the transcription back 20 minutes of text is pro or 20 minutes of uh, talking is probably going to be somewhere around um, 6,000 words, maybe more, 8,000 words, right? Typically, we're talking um, 250 words a minute or something like that. So that's going to be a pretty good transcription that comes back, all right? Now, you can take that transcription and either you can clean it up and uh, format it and stuff, because what we want to do is we want to turn that into a book. Okay, we want to turn that into like a giveaway item or some kind of an ebook we can put up on Amazon. So either you can take your time and go through and clean it up and create the sections and that kind of thing, or again, right, you can outsource that. There's probably somebody that will, uh, well, I know there are, there's people that will proofread, edit, create the cover, right? You can get all that done for like $25, maybe a little bit more. So, um, that's what I would do. Okay, I would have the transcription and I would have that turned into an ebook. Now with the ebook, you have a couple of options. Okay, you can either um, you can either put on Amazon if you want to sell the ebook. Okay, so if you want to use it to make money, 
Um, also, of course, Amazon is a good positioning item, right? When you can say, by the way, I'm a published author. You can go see my book on Amazon. So I would put the book on Amazon there. You may have to have somebody format it, right? They have like their own little formatting things. I don't even know what those are. Okay, I just go pay somebody like $10, $15, whatever. Have them format your book so that it's ready to go on Amazon. And there's even people that will just upload it to Amazon for you. You don't even have to upload your own book. They'll go and make sure that it all gets done smoothly so you don't have to mess with that, okay? So now what you can do is you can either take that ebook and you can also put it on your website if you wanted to give it away for free, okay? So if you want to sell it, sell it through Amazon. If you want to give it away, give it away through your, like give it away, give it away now, like that, through your website, okay? That way you can build your list and all that kind of thing. It just, it just depends what you want to do. But the fact that you can shoot this 20 minute video and now you have a whole book, right, that you can give away or you can sell and you could do that as often as you want to repeat that process, okay? In my case, this is a 30 day process. So you could do that every single month, all right? Now, so now you've got an ebook. And uh, so you've got the ebook, and you've got uh, you've got the transcription. Man, this is like kind of ghetto the way I'm doing it here, but it's working. Okay, so so that's your first two pieces. Your next piece that you want to do is is you can create podcast episodes from the short videos. Okay, so there's a lot of different platforms out there today that you can podcast on. Uh, there's different different um, ways for you to get that set up and get going. Um, there's like Libsyn.com, Stitcher.com. You can self-host on WordPress. There's different plugins you can use for that, uh, like Blurberry stuff like that. You can uh, use Blog Talk Radio. Okay, so the platform doesn't matter to me. It's just the fact that you're going to have this podcast episode out there. Okay, some people today aren't going to take the time to read a blog post. If I write an article that's 800 words, that's going to take somebody, you know, whatever, right, five, seven minutes, whatever that's going to take them to read that. And some people just don't want to do that. They don't want to spend the time while they're sitting on their computer um, to read your blog. Whereas if they could listen to it, they might consume the content, right? It's just a different mentality of somebody that wants to listen to it versus reading it. So why not provide that so that if somebody does want that option, you have it there. It also just gives you another piece of content online, right? So you could take each one of those short videos, and here's a little trick, is if you put SS at the beginning of YouTube, it'll pull up a site where it lets you download the video, right? And there's other ways that you can download the audio and stuff straight off the videos. So you can just pull the audio from that video, and then you could turn that into a podcast episode. That's gonna give you about five podcasts right there. Now, you, when you have that audio, of course you can just use the raw audio. There's also places that where you could have it cleaned up, right? You could have the audio mastered, the volume uh, leveled out. You could have an, an intro or an outro or both created and added to your podcast to make it uh, more snappier, right? You can make it seem a little fancier. So that's up to you, okay? Either way that you want to do that, that's, I would spend the $5 or the $10 to have somebody add the intros and outros, master the volume out, uh, just from a quality standpoint, people are gonna appreciate that, right? You may get people that listen longer based on the fact that you have good audio. I know that when I use this Blue Yeti mic versus using the webcam microphone, that the audio is better and people listen to my videos longer, right? I figured that out after trial and error. So you wanna think about that as well. With the blog, po or excuse me, with the podcasts, you can post those once a week and you know I would do that on a consistent basis so I would like every Monday or every Tuesday or whatever that is I would have a new podcast episode that is posted on the podcast place where wherever you're gonna host that right and uh, so that way you have content again you have five podcast episodes that can go out really this is like a five week marketing plan not just a 30 day plan so let me add those up here to our board All right, so you've got five podcasts. So now you've got uh, six videos, an ebook, a transcription, and five podcasts already uh, for your business 
um, and you know really just from that initial 20 minute video okay so the next thing we're going to go into is uh, after we've got all that done there is we're going to talk about a blogging plan so with with our website we want to create articles uh, with this content in it on the site right you could go in and just write articles about the same kind of information but you pretty much already have that done since you got that transcription made so now you can take that transcription you could break that down in uh, down by each main point and then each main point can have its own blog article on your website within the blog article you can you know you can embed the YouTube video so you could either put the long video uh, if you want to put the long video on all of them and put the short video you can put the podcast right you can either uh, embed that embed that audio so that it's right there inside of your article on your website so it's real easy for somebody to listen to that or you can just link to your podcast right you got every time you create a link it's like creating a piece of a spider web and we want to have the biggest possible spider web online to catch people so make sure that you're linking all this stuff back together right that within the ebook you know you're linking to your website and stuff within the podcast you're linking to stuff the videos on YouTube can link over to the podcast so now that we're doing these articles on your website same thing right that article should be uh, linking to the YouTube videos linking to the podcast episodes linking to the ebook right link to the long video that's on YouTube and you can put those things also right inside of your inside of your blog especially if you're using a WordPress website which is what I recommend for everybody then it's super easy just to add the podcast and the videos inside of your article so that on your website people are able to consume all that content okay no matter how they wanna if they wanna read it they can read it if they wanna listen to it they can do that or if they wanna watch a video they can do that so you're giving everybody every available option once you have the uh, you know those blogs done right same thing where with WordPress it makes it really simple to go in there one time one day and schedule out all the articles okay so you could go in there one day a week or one day a month and you could post the all these articles here that we're talking about from the transcription you could go ahead and schedule those out so that um, the, each article post out you know on a Wednesday or a Friday or Monday or whatever day of the week that you want to put your articles out just be consistent with it right so every week just have your blogs show up on the website at the same time that's again going to encourage um, subscribers because excuse me it's consistency right that's why TV shows play at the same time on the same channel the same day every single week it's consistency and you want to be uh, start getting that with your subscribers where they're used to you know every Monday Nick is gonna have a new blog every Tuesday Nick's gonna have a new video every Wednesday Nick's gonna have a new podcast every Thursday Nick's gonna have a new whatever right and so you can create that um, that theme within your marketing and, and this is all still stemming off of that initial 20 minute video that we just shot and, and put up on YouTube basically like what I'm doing right now so okay we've got all our blogs up now okay so let me write that that's gonna give us five blogs All right, we're doing pretty good here. So, so far on our plan here, which is really more like a five-week plan, we've got six videos on YouTube. We've also got, uh, we can take five of those videos and put them on Facebook as well. So that really gives us 11 videos online, right? Uh, we've got the ebook that we can either give away or we can sell on Amazon. We've got the transcription that we were able to use to make the ebook and to make the blog articles. You've got the podcast episodes now that are on a podcast website somewhere, and they're also uh, built into your own website on the blog articles. And you've got the blogs, okay? So, man, we're doing pretty good on, on, on our coverage at this point. So the only other thing that I can think that we could do is we could create presentations out of the information, right? So we could either um, watch each of the three-minute videos and just from the main points that we make inside of that three minute video we could create a PowerPoint right so we could create a PowerPoint or create a Prezi or whatever thing that you use to create presentations today um, 
probably there's some other ones. I don't. I just don't know them. I'm so old school and use PowerPoint when I have to. So you can create PowerPoint and then that can be uploaded to again to your you know um, before you upload it, save that as a PDF. Okay, don't don't put that out on the internet as a PowerPoint. Make sure that you make it a PDF so that nothing could ever be changed on there. Okay, without your permission. Um, once you have that as a PDF, you could upload it to your website. And there's also different presentation websites you could upload it to, like SlideShare.net or um, Issue.com, things like that, right? And again, we want to link everything back together so we could take that pot, you know, within the SlideShare or within the presentation that we create, we can have the links inside of there to the videos, to the blog post, to the podcast, to the long video, to the ebook thing that we're giving away or selling on Amazon, right? So you can have it all. It's just this spider web effect that we're creating for your business and you know all this content just gives you stuff to promote right people are always saying well what do I talk about on social media we talk about all this stuff right all this different material that you're creating you just share it in different formats because again it's going to appeal to different differently to people a podcast is going to appeal differently than a blog post right a presentation is going to appeal differently than a video okay so when you just like you just constantly put stuff out and let the market decide what they what they care about what they want most right and whatever works whatever's working for you the best you could scale that up right if something uh, within this plan is tanking or it's not working then you could cut it out but everything designed here is designed for a purpose to give you as much coverage online as possible from just an initial 20 minute investment up front into creating marketing materials right so Look, if you like this content, if you like this information, if you're a loan officer and, and you want more cool things like this, I have two options for you. Number one, you can go over to mortgageauthoritynetwork.com. Tons of free content there, free ideas, blog posts, all kinds of stuff, right? Different things that's going to help you uh, help your mortgage business and create more relationships with realtors. And if you really want to take it to another level, then I would invite you to check out the Mortgage Marketing Bootcamp which you can see at mortgageauthoritynetwork.com slash bootcamp. And uh, it's a six-week program. We talk about all this kind of stuff, right? This kind of stuff here. We talk about how to drive traffic, how to capture leads, what can you give away to somebody, um, how to run Facebook ads. We just integrate everything together so you can have this whole traffic and lead generation and content system for your mortgage business. So check that out if you're interested. And uh, Hey, I'm just curious to wherever you found this, I'd love for you to let me know. Either send me an email to nick at salesclubhouse.com or uh, find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Nick Carpenter, and let me know how you found this content. Are you watching this as a video? Is this a long video or a short video? Is Are you listening to this as a podcast? Is this a blog article on my website right now? Is this a presentation? Where, where are you finding this information? So I'm Nick Carpenter. Hopefully you like that. We'll catch you on the next one. See it.